The experience of COPD is, is very different for different people, um, depending on the, um, the course of their illness and, how, and the, um, the environment that they're in and how they're able to manage it. And it's really for, for everyone with the illness, um, it, you need to um, listen to your body, listen to your doctors, or be in a good conversation with your doctors to make sure that the treatments that you're getting are, are helping to match your goal. A man came up to me at the conference two years ago before the program started and he kind of tugged at my sleeve and he said, let me tell you something. He said, I attended your conference last year and I learned about a new procedure. And before that procedure, I needed oxygen seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And look at me, no oxygen and his wife next to him has tears in her eyes, and he has tears in his eyes, and I had tears in my eyes. Knowledge and information is an important key to empowerment. Our healthcare providers are doing the best they can, but we need to help them. I cannot understate the value of pulmonary rehabilitation. It is controlled exercise under close medical supervision. It is an opportunity to socialize with other people who are in the same medical situation as you are, and we found that really to be transformative. COPD is serious, but it's not hopeless. I hope that families and people with COPD, people who may be afraid to talk with their doctor about it, I hope that they can learn what I've learned, which is that um, there are ways to live long, healthy lives with COPD.